Hey guys, Brandon here at the Museum of Modern Art with the up and coming photographer Maribel Morales. Let's go check her out. Hey guys, I'm here with Maribel Morales, UNT alumni and Dallas photographer. So, Maribel, can you tell us what inspires you, made you want to continue this art as a career? Well, I studied at UNT, and so for me it's always been one of those things where if you worked hard and you studied for something for so long, you have to make it work. And so I did. Not only am I passionate about it, but I couldn't see myself doing anything, anything else. Nice. And do you have any, you know, advice that you'd want to give someone who's currently going to UNT for photography? Network. Network your butt off. Um, do that and really, you know, perfect your practice. There's always going to be somebody better than you. Don't ever let that, you know, steer you down. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome advice. Speaking of networking, which one do you think has really like surprised you or like you've been like, oh wow, I can't believe I'm doing this? Honestly, it's been the ones that I've met through social media. So people take social media for granted a lot and in any industry, it's really good to have. I've met quite a bit on there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't be scared to meet them. They're there for a reason. Yeah, you're building, it. exactly. You're building relationships. Um, but yeah, I met one on there in particular who is a photographer for a couple of celebrities and in working with him and just kind of seeing the way he works, it's been pretty amazing, you know? Um, and then I've also met people who are Dallas-based photographers who do the exact same thing, but they're doing it in Dallas. Mm -hmm. They're working with athletes and stuff like that. And that's something that, like I said, it's not necessarily the kind of work that I do. However, it's still good to learn from them, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, all through social. And yeah, they've definitely been surprising, but really good surprises. What kind of message do you hope to spread with your brand? Um, an empowering one, um, especially towards women, but male too. Um, more so, just basically don't give up on yourself and what you believe in. Um, there's always going to be somebody telling you, don't do it, or you're not worthy enough, or you're not good enough. So my thing is always, because I've been told that myself, mm -hmm. so my thing is just try to overcome that and be the best as you can. And again, that's just the kind of message that I, yeah, like sorry, to put I out that. there. Yeah, yeah. I also saw that you're one, uh, you, Put like you know female empowerment on some of your posts or on your blog would you say that women aren't as respected in the photography business or i wouldn't say they're not respected but in any industry women will make they don't they do not make as, as much i literally studied that like literally um about a year ago the difference it's it's pretty drastic um but also going back to just the female empowerment it's something that i derives back from my college work mm -hmm. so all everything that i did in college was challenging the male gaze it was always about women mostly on women um but now looking at it now it's just for everyone while i do say female empowerment mm -hmm. it's because i feel like we are the main issue right now however i mean empowerment for all, for all. Um, but as far as the photography world you do have some people that they see you your girl whatever they don't really trust you as much they see a guy they'd rather go for him However, again, in my business, it's all about relationships. So yeah. if you can provide that relationship and even a good work ethic, kind of balances out. So I saw on your Instagram that you've traveled quite a bit over the years. What place would you say was the most inspiring? Um, I would have to say for me, it was Cuba. Um, for several different reasons. Um, I've had this discussion with several people of asking like, you know, should I go there? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going there to relax, no, it's not the place for you. <laughs> nice. If you're going there to take in the culture, uh, to be inspired by the people, the music, mm -hmm. everything that has to do with Cuba, and actually understanding what socialism is, understanding them for what their hardships, their struggles, everything, mm -hmm. then yeah, I would have to say Cuba. Because I was there for a little less than a week, and honestly, I could see myself going back and staying there for a month. So Maribel, where can we find you on social media? What are your handles? Uh, my main one is Maribel Morales photo. Through that one you can actually find my personal which is underscore Maribel Morales underscore. Um, and then my website is just maribelmorales.com. As you can see, being an artist in this industry is not easy. But listening to Maribel has inspired me and I hope it's inspired you too to keep on dreaming and following your dreams no matter how hard they seem.